Vim is a text editor that a lot of software engineers might use for editing code. It's because it allows you to use just the keyboard. There's no mouse involved. I created a quick little tier list here that shows where I see all of the different flavors of Vim that are available uh, around the, the different kind of code editors. Now you've got stock Vim, of course, uh, which is uh, probably obviously the most popular because it's already installed everywhere, basically where there's a terminal window on. You've got Mac and Linux, Vim's every, and you've got NeoVim, which has a better plugin ecosystem, it's easier to develop plugins. I put these two at the top because they are, you know, the, the standard that to, to follow. Then you've got uh, VS Code that has a Vim mode. You still kind of have to use your mouse, though I put that here at the end because VS Code is so prevalent and very powerful and popular and has a lot of extra plugin systems. And you've got NeoVim distributions that I put here that come pre-baked with a lot of the powerful plugins that those communities already support. And then you've got inspired editors that have Vim-like keystroke editors. And then you've got other Vim mode uh, editors. Visual Studio Code VS Code has a Vim plugin that lets you use the keystrokes that uh, you're familiar with in Vim to edit your code inside the, the VS Code editor. It was actually, I just tried it out, installed it, v, uh, Vim emulation for Visual Studio Code. It does a good job. I was, I was just playing around with it really quick. And I noticed that it also supports, you know, your, your, your mouse too. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. If you want, you can jump around in VS Code editor here to uh, do all the regular uh, special Vim commands that you want. And it, it really works. It does a good job. It, uh, like, let me see this. Does it do this one? Yep. It does that one. Can I jump around? Yep. Like it has all, it, it does a good job. I'm comparing it to other, uh, it, you know, embedded emulators that do Vim like keystrokes. I'd say B VS Code does probably the best. It's, it's my favorite among all the options that are available. So both Vim and NeoVim are available for you to run in your terminal window directly. And I'm just gonna try them out side by side. Uh, I did this a little bit earlier. They're basically the same thing. So here's NeoVim on the right, and then I've got uh, Vim on the left. And it, it it's all the same. It does, it does what I want on, in both cases. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, there, so well, it turns out that NeoVim really is just a fork of Vim uh, that added the ability to use Lua for extensions and programming extensions and has really grown more popular these days. So, you've got NeoVim uh, that does a pretty good job, uh, it just adds on top of Vim. So, you've got Vim and then you've got NeoVim, and there's all these plugins. There's so many more plugins with NeoVim, and they even have some, uh, uh, some nice Lua options. So, it makes it easy for you to implement your own plugins as well. Uh, so, they're basically the two same. It's just that NeoVim is just uh, maybe just a step up and might be a better place to start. Two NeoVim distributions are Lunar Vim and NVChad. It's a, a, both are NeoVim sort of just. Uh, pre-packaged with a whole bunch of extensions. So it's NeoVim plus a whole bunch of extensions. And I'm taking a look at the, comparing the two of these and LunarVim seems okay, seems all right. Kind of doesn't have a, a good, uh, like I would, I'm looking at in, uh, NVChad. NVChad looks, it just, it looks, it feels better to me. And you know, as a software developer, I want everything fast and efficient and smooth. The idea behind NVChad is that it's blazing fast and it, it's fast by default with good defaults. Uh, so just overall, if like we're comparing the two, I'd say start with NVChad. This is going to give you probably a better experience overall. Um, and then if you if you're being more adventurous, check out LunarVim as another NeoVim uh, distribution. Uh, but yeah, NVChad would be the one to choose first. If you're feeling adventurous and want to try out a new code editor, well, we've got two flavors here that are Vim inspired where all you have to use is your keyboard. You don't need a mouse. And I'm looking at Helix and Kekona. The, between the two, I'm really enjoying Helix. It's built it's terminal ready. Uh, it has a bunch of nice plugins ready to go. It's also attractive uh, overall in terms of just aesthetics. Uh, I'm, I like it. It feels clean. It's got a lot of the capabilities that I'm looking for in a code editor. Kikona has similar features, different keystroke uh, config, and it just looks a little more basic to me. It does have those features that you're looking for, though it just feels just a slight bit more basic, and Helix does have that uh, more approachable look. And I kind I kind of like that because oh, the whole point of choosing the right code editor is your happiness. How happy are you? Do you enjoy it? 
Does it make your life better? Are you happier? That's the whole point, is to find the text editor, the code editor, that brings you the most happiness. How do you pick the best code editor? It's one answer, one really simple answer, and it's what makes you happy? What gives you the best feeling throughout the day? Because this is the editor that you're gonna be working with day in and day out. What's gonna give you the most satisfaction? That's the answer. That really is. That's the whole answer. It's not about how you're going to be more productive because you don't really spend, as a software developer, that much time typing. You really don't. About 10% of your entire life would be spent typing. And really, it comes down to just what makes you feel happy. What's going to give you the best happiness overall? And that answer is one of these on the options. Probably it's going to be VS Code, VS Studio, Notepad++. Yeah, could be, right? Sublime Text, a lot of folks use that. Vim, uh, this is the one I use. I use Vim. There's NeoVim and other flavors of Vim distributions. And then PyCharm, Atom, Eclipse, Android Studio, IntelliJ. You got to pick the one. Well, obviously, some are special purpose. But pick the one that makes you happy.